everybody, this is going to be a review and sort of demonstration of the Benefit Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Foundation. I've been wanting to try it out for a while now. Um, there's actually two foundations that I've been kind of tossed up between and recently when I was at Sephora, I asked if I could get a sample of each before pulling the trigger and actually buying the full size. So this was the first one. I figured I'd do a review on both. Um, it came in a little bag like this. And I got the color Toasted Bagel, although when I look online, um, I believe it's Toasted Beige. I don't know why, why it's written down as Toasted Bagel. Um, they did a color match on me. Now, this was several weeks ago. We're at the end of summer right now, and um, this was done kind of towards the middle of summer when it had a lot more of a tan, so it was quite a dark shade, as you can see. I'm wearing it right now. I brought it down my neck and chest trying to make it work, but it is a tad dark for me. Um, but I decided to do the review anyways. I did film myself applying it for the first time, and I'll show you that in just a second. But I thought I'd tell you a little bit about it from their website before I show you that. And the full size re retails for $36, and it comes in nine shades, which isn't too bad. Uh, it's oil free, brightening liquid foundation, builds from light to medium coverage. Um, for natural complexion, what else does it say about it? It has broad spectrum SPF 25, which is super nice, especially in the summer. Well, all year, really. Um, hydrating benefits, light diffusing properties. And it says it was the 2012 Self Health Beauty Award winning foundation for uh, best brightening features. So that's interesting. So that's what it has to say about it. And now I will show you myself applying it. All right. So all I have on my face right now is moisturizer. I don't have any primer on because I want to see how this foundation holds up all by itself. So I have the color Toasted ba Bagel. This is the Hello Flawless foundation. This is what it looks like here. Um, I think it's going to be too dark for me because I got this sample a couple weeks ago when I was a little bit more tan, but I'm going to try it out anyways, and I decided I'm going to use my beauty blender to apply it to my face because this is what I typically use. This are my fingers, so I'm going to use the beauty blender. Alright. Wow. That is quite dark. I can already tell this is going to be pretty darn dark for me. This is probably for when I'm a lot more self-tanned or even naturally tanned. It's very um, liquidy in consistency tell that right off the bat. It's not thick at all. It's blending out really easy with the Beauty Blender. Alright, and because this color is so dark, I'm having to do my ears, my neck, and I'm probably going to have to drag this right down my neck to my chest. And my chest does get a, quite a bit darker, but uh, yeah, not a perfect color match by any means. All right, so here is one layer. This is one very thin layer, and it actually, it's already dried. It doesn't feel like I have anything on my skin. It's super lightweight. Um, I'll, cut, I'll zoom in a bit for the first layer. I would say it's light to medium coverage at this point, um, but I'm gonna try and add a second layer to see if I can get any more coverage out of it, so I'll do that right now. Alright, so I would definitely say this has buildable coverage. Um, before I put on the second layer, you could still see some of the redness that I have in my cheeks. And um, just some little pigmentation issues I have in my forehead and my cheeks. But now that I've put on a second layer, it's pretty much um, covered up most of that. And it still doesn't feel... It doesn't really feel like I'm wearing foundation. It feels like... Kind of like a BB cream or even lighter. Uh, it's very light in texture and dries pretty quickly. Just It feels really good on the skin. Like I said, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything. So that's awesome. So here's the two coats finished from backing up. I'll come in close for you. I like it. I wouldn't call it a matte finish by any means, but I don't really think it's dewy. I think it's just drying. So I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup and then come back and tell you what I think. So here it is now with my makeup on top. I'll zoom in so that you can see it. I do have a bit of setting powder on top because I do that with every foundation just because I tend to get a little bit shiny. But the rest of my makeup went on top of it really, really nicely. It's set really nice to, like I said, not, not matte, 
not satin, just kind of like a natural finish, which I actually think looks quite pretty. I would agree with what the website says, light to medium coverage. I believe I have it at kind of the medium level right now because I put on two layers, but I think it was a beautiful foundation. Um, it blended in super easy with the Beauty Blender. I think if I used my fingers or a brush, it would be no problem at all. And it just feels so lightweight. Like, I don't feel like it's gonna transfer. It's set really, really well. Um, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything. It's definitely a winner for me at this point. I'm gonna check on it throughout the day and I'll leave down below in the comments kind of how long it lasted for and what it looked like at the end of the day in case you're curious. But so far, I mean, I haven't tried out the other foundation that I was interested in, but this one I've been really, really happy with. So let me know if you have any questions and I think that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.